Morning everyone, Ian from DIY Home Gardening on location this morning to do some pruning, rejuvenating of that, which is a lilac or syringa. <laughs> First week of August, you can see it's now totally finished flowering. It is massive. And it is a bit of a job each year trying to do some pruning on it and uh, steadily coming down in size. But um, yeah, it puts on so much growth. So uh, now is the time to do some pruning. So start with the normal, which is remove your dead, diseased, damaged stems. Then have a look for crossing branches. So um, they also get removed. So here you can see element of dieback. So something like that is gonna be removed first. So let's do the, the dead and the diseased bits first. Can't see disease, but there is definitely dead. So where you have a section like that that's dead, then just take it nice and neatly back right back to the main stem there's no point leaving a, a little piece like that just take the whole thing back and with a bit of luck that will then rejuvenate from lower down so not many bits of dead so you can then start on doing your pruning which most of the time can be resolved by just cutting back the dead flowers so you can see there that the flower produces out the main bit and then you end up with side branching following in and that holds true for all lilacs syringas so as a rule on the especially on the dwarf ones you only need to snip back to there and what that do is that encourage both those shoots to then take over grow much bigger but in this case as it's already covering the doorway we're going to be a bit more ruthless work our way back to the point where it's not going to be impinging that doorway and we'll work our way through some of these lower branches so when you're looking at a tree like this on rejuvenation kind of thinking about removing about maximum of a third overall volume so to start with, because it's blocking this doorway and the customer wants access again, we'll remove some of this and try and reshape a little bit and then take some of that top off afterwards. It's worth noting that where you have these stems that haven't produced flower this year, they will then produce the flower for next year. So the flower produces on the ripened wood. So you don't really want to be pruning too much of this ripening wood off obviously if it's covering the door then you do but otherwise we try and maintain as much of this sort of thing as possible because as I say that will be bearing the flowers for next year so see we've done the lower bits trying to balance it up a little bit now it's a case of working on that top section just trying to remove much as possible and open it up a little bit as well so we can open up the middle and let some more light through then that will encourage some regrowth further development or regeneration at a lower level which uh, give you a much better looking plant so up the ladders so we've got all of this top growth and the pruning still holds true so if you look to where you've got a nice healthy pair of branches forming prune just above there so that's the top section removed which equates to all of that and so then you can have a look how that is, there's a piece of dead there once removing and then just prune back some of this harder to above the buds and they will then grow 
But what that's enabled you to do is to remove about three foot in one nice simple prune. Right, so having finished this branch, this is kind of the height that it'd be nice to get down to. That's not going to be achievable because that's going to involve removing far more than a third of total volume of the, the plant. So really what you need to do is have a look as to how you can achieve rejuvenation of the tree shrub uh, but without compromising the health of the plant and um, ultimately put it under too much stress for what it needs to. So come back to what we originally said, you know, you're removing your odd bits of dead, diseased, damaged wood, any crossing branches. So the higher up we get into the canopy, the more obvious some of this stuff is. And also wanting to try and open it up to allow some more light to come through because certainly in the middle here, you can see there's not a lot coming. Now, when you're looking at the plant, removing this top piece here would certainly facilitate all three of those. We've got elements of dead through here, quite a few bits, crossing stems. So this piece goes outwards through there and it's also blocking a lot of light coming through the middle. Uh, to bring the height down, again, the easiest thing is take down to here, just above these two branching pieces. And that will, again, that's gonna remove uh, about four, four and a half foot of actual height on the top canopy. And so that ticks all the boxes but without going crazy on the amount of pruning that we're doing. So I remove that and then continue on the tree. Okay, so remove that piece, which you can see is a reasonable bit, but not loads. So get back to that. And all of a sudden, you can see already, light coming through the center, which is going to encourage growth lower down, but without, um, taking out too much of the tree. So now really it's a case of concentrating on, certainly in this top canopy, removing the remaining dead crossing stems and uh, where it allows, in terms of volume, remove a little bit more of this top growth. Okay, finished. Always helps when you can prune back another plant hard as well. Uh, so you can see that on the lilac that uh, is a decent amount has come out of the top, certainly through the middle and focusing, uh, say on pruning the, the stems where they have flowered already. So um, yeah, pruning those won't impact flower production because you've still got all of that mature wood that will then bear the flower for next year. And this lot of growth here will also produce the flower. So hopefully next year will produce more flower than it has done this year, um, in parts at least, but it will be at a lower level. And then say so subsequent years, the aim is to, to get it down um, over well probably another couple of years try and get it back down to uh, that gutter level which is going to involve so removing probably about another three to four foot from where it is at the moment so it will take a couple of years but say so really focusing on removing no more than a third of overall volume so you can see there's not a lot there really to create all of that could go harder um, but because it's so hot don't really want to put the plant under any more stress so yeah that is done so it's getting pretty hot now uh 28 degrees already and it's only just turned quarter past 10. um there we are so you can still see that it's pretty tall but nowhere near as uh, big as it was so uh, yeah, video done, how to prune and rejuvenate a syringa or lilac tree bush 
Uh, if you've got any questions, then please send them to me. I'll do my very best to answer them for you. If you like what I'm doing, then please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that reminder button so you don't miss out on the future videos. And uh, I normally say it, um, enjoy yourself, have fun. But in this case up there, on ladders, in the heat, not so much fun, but more uh, a job that needs doing. So, uh, till next time, mind there you go. Bye for now.